Researchers are learning more about the Delta variant as Arizona sees this surge in COVID-19 cases. The head of ASU's Biodesign Institute saying tonight they're seeing the fastest rise in rates among kids. It's something our teams have reported on for weeks now. ABC 15's Claudia Rupsich breaks down the new data and new trends. There have been a lot of changes since Dr. Joshua LaBear last gave an update. The Delta variant essentially makes up all of the COVID cases here in Arizona. Cases among children are skyrocketing, and we're learning a lot more about why vaccinated people can get and spread the virus. It does respond to the vaccine. It's just that it gets in there so quick that the body just doesn't have a chance to respond quickly, and so it kind of overwhelms the immune system. Dr. Joshua LaBear saying even people who already got COVID or are vaccinated show high copies of the virus. The Delta variant taking only three to four days to get there instead of four to five days with other variants. During that time, the virus can spread. People who've been vaccinated initially have very high copy numbers of this virus, but after several days, it drops pretty fast and it goes away. Whereas if you look at unvaccinated people, it's very high initially, and it stays high for many days. That's why LaBert calls it a pandemic of the unvaccinated. It's part of the reason we're seeing a huge rise in cases in kids. I'm sure it's a combination of the Delta variant and the fact that kids are uh, going back to school and many of them are not wearing masks at this point. And... Um, and, and the fact that there's no vaccine available to them. In Arizona, about a quarter of COVID cases are people younger than 18. And the most rapid rise in cases are among children 5 to 15 years old. We're seeing the fastest rise in rates in kids that we have seen through this entire pandemic. Dr. LeBaire emphasizing the efficacy of vaccines, saying you're 10 times less likely to get infected if you're vaccinated. If you are not vaccinated, the likelihood that you will get COVID-19 is extremely high. And if you do get COVID-19, you will very likely have received a, a disease more likely than any other in your life to put you in the hospital and to kill you. Dr. LaBear said at ASU is seeing an increase in demand for its saliva testing, saying it's working to potentially open some new collection sites in underserved communities. Reporting in Tempe, I'm Claudia Rupsich, ABC 15 Arizona.